So my name is Anna Young, a researcher at Little Devices Lab, and where we work on modular construction set design for health technologies. And I'm Elizabeth Phillips. I'm also a researcher in the Little Devices Lab doing modular diagnostics and therapeutics device design. So what are we looking at here? So this is a kit um, to design a manual powered nebulizer um, for use in, 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 in using this, which is, this is the nebulizer for asthmatic patients. Um, we need to actually get medicine into their lungs. Either you're having an asthma attack or have a respiratory condition that requires you to use this as, as the treatment. Um, so typically this is run off of an air compressor, mm -hmm. um, which you have a couple of fail points. If you're using it in a developing country, you could have the wrong voltage, then it fails. It could be clogged with dust and it fails. Um, and you'll see maintenance pro professionals spending loads of time trying to fix it when actually what you need is just a different way to push air through this little cartridge. So this kit gives people the option for switching from the compressor to a manual pump that will work in a number of different scenarios without electricity and can be replaced incredibly easily if the pump goes out. So um, we've provided the components to put the, the device together to outfit it for one patient, two patients, or even three patients if they, if they had that mm -hmm. um, overflow into clinic, and then also a few sensors to monitor uh, the frequency that they're pumping the bike pump to make sure the medicine goes through at the right rate. So what are the components of the kit and what do they cost in aggregate? So we've got uh, the actual cup for the medicine, we included two of those right there, and the mask, this would go over the patient's face. Uh, the bike pump that actually is, is pushing the air through the tube to the cartridge. Um, we have some filters uh, that will actually filter the air coming from the pump. Silicone tape that will seal off the joints to make sure that you get the right pressure in the system. Option of including a splitter if you want to treat more than one patient at a time. Zip ties, again, to reinforce the tape, secure everything together. And this is an Arduino kit that will allow people to sensorize the nebulizer if they're interested in, in monitoring usage or collecting data about patients who are using the device. Um, in aggregate, this is about, uh, you know, the electronic components are about $30, and the nebulizer and the bike pump itself, those are uh, 10 to $12, depending on where you get them. How many of these kits are in the field at the moment? We have about two dozen in different parts of the world, and, and it's, it's hard to even estimate how that's growing because we find every time we go back to Nicaragua, which is one of the main sites that these are, we hear stories from different parents or healthcare workers about how they taught and showed somebody else how to make it. Mm -hmm. um, interestingly enough, we also get calls from people in upstate New York who cross-country skiers are interested in, in, in where they can buy the manual powered nebulizer and we're not actually selling this as an end product right now mm -hmm. but can tell them mm -hmm. well here's the components you would need to make it and if you're interested in that where can you go online uh, littledevices.org we have a blog post up that um, shows you step by step how to make this cool thanks so much yeah.